Hello, um, welcome. Um, today I'm going to do two craft along with me videos. So um, the first one would be to make these little um, lace dangles. They look very, very pretty and effective on shabby and vintage um, journals and tags. So I'm going to show you how to do these. Um, and I'm going to be decorating a plain brown paper bag and making it look um, vintage and shabby so uh, I'll start and um, let's see where we go so you only need a selection of lace pieces obviously um, you know more vintage coffee dyed um, it gives a better look than white but do both um, and I'm not going to try and talk as much so I'm just going to get on and craft You want to cut them in kind of the shape of you would cut a tag with a little V shape and just keep doing that to the pieces. Um, If um, you can hear any noise in the background, it's our TV and my husband's got his train simulator going as well. So that's what you'll probably be hearing in the background. These little bits here don't have to actually have the little taggy flaggy bit. Um, you can either do it like that or you can just put them on like that. Um, I don't know whether to add a little bit of this rose pattern as well. trying to find something else. I did have like some um, cheesecloth material that I could use. So it was very um, effective. With the uh, frayed edges. But um, I can't find it now. Where is that? Uh, hang on a minute. It's a little bit here. I had um, a neck curtain. That gives off like the same kind of cheese cheesecloth effect when you um, thread the little bits off the end. It's not exactly the same, but. And then, um, where did I put that to? Where did I put that to? Ah, just need a, um, I keep forgetting that, that they're like bulb, bulb pins, bulb, bulb pins, yeah, I'm sure they're called bulb pins, with a button in, thread them through, and I hate doing this because I always prick my fingers. I'm not a very good uh, sewer either because I don't like them pricking my fingers, but Yep, they're very easy to make. Little off cuts of lace and what have you, and just see that one didn't even even stay. Um, and you get pretty little ribbons like this. So I would probably use this in a journal. A rose 
Mother's page. So um, now we're going to go on to um, the paper bag. Hoping I'm going to be able to show the full. Um, so I'll do it sideways, but I'm doing I'm doing it um, horizontal. Um, the picture, but let's um. I have to do it sideways, I can't get my tripod up. So I've chose my background. size. I know that I'm going to be overlapping on the back a little bit, but I'll trim that up soon. Let's see. And then you need to get a bit of um, a bit of netting, lace. glue that over the top around um, the handle with the lace. And then you find the image um, that you want to use. So I'm going to use this one. So um, on the bottom of the uh, tutorial or in the video, I'm going to be posting the group name to our um, group that we're doing and it specifies around oh, um, Shabby and Vintage Makes. Um, we're a new group, we're a group of like I think 54, 55 girls going at the moment. Um, we just wanted to do our own thing and do Shabby and Vintage Makes and uh, share, share our passion for it. So. Um, We'd love to see you over there if that is your style and you like that kind of thing. I've run out of my um, art glitter glue in that, so I'm having to use sticks. And I know that it does not like <laughs> sticking to lace. And I'm making a right mess with, which I'll clear up. It doesn't actually matter because it might actually add to the effect. Um, and then you want to get the lace, lace off cuts. I'll go over that with rubber, um, a glue eraser in a minute. Get another glue stick because that one's run out. Well, I do get um, art glitter glue or fabric glue. I will make sure I go around and stick everything down properly and 
make sure it's held properly there. Um, I was going to use this one and I was going to use, just trying to find the lace I was going to um, actually use in the tutorial. Um, and as you do, it gets everywhere and then you can't find it again. So I'm just going to bung everything on the side and hope I could come across this other bit of lace I was going to use. Nope. Right, so I'll put that to one side. Um, I'll go with that one for now. It's not the same, same kind of lace as that, but I can't find it. This, um, these roses came off a wedding dress my friend gave me. I feel awful about cutting it. I was saying the other day, I think I did a craft video saying about it, and I do, I feel awful cutting it up, but she gave it to me. She knows it was because of um, crafts and that, so I want to use it for that. I don't want to cover her face up, so maybe if I put that one there. I'm hoping you can see what's going on. Then we want to um, let's add a bit of to add a little flower to her hair. So like I say, um, I'm only using the glue stick at the moment, but when I um, get my proper art glitter glue, I will be re-going through and sticking everything down properly. For now, I've got to make do. Um, so they actually do stick pretty well once they dry. Um, and shall we add that there? things to so we might snip that off later and attach it to her necklace as a necklace brooch we'll see I mean with all of us we will we'll do creating and then we'll go and look at it and maybe add more as we go but for now I'm just trying to go through the basics That's enough of that one. And I think we're kind of done now. So like, um, obviously I'll cut the square out of the bag and let put other lace around here and what have you. So in the end, you'll um, have a handle, put the lace around it. And then what I would probably do is wrap um, some flowers um, around it. I mean, I... I wanted to put this on but it's just too too big so um play with maybe that one hang on let's have a look here I'm not gonna do a perfect cut on this a minute just gonna try 
try and show you what I'm meaning. Now, do you know, I don't use measurements by now. Everything is guesswork, and if it don't work out, I cover it up. But normally, I'm pretty good at guessing, so... Um, And as you see, everything's kind of near on stay put whilst I've been moving it around. And I'll tidy it up in a minute. Um, let's see if this one. So that's how you like kind of have a nice paper bag and make it look pretty and you can um, use it, open it up. I'll do the, um, the backs. And the sides, the same. And um, you can put wedding, uh, wedding stuff in for, for a wedding gift. Um, or you can do it as wedding favours on, on a wedding day. Um, so, yep. Thanks for looking. And don't forget, look at the bottom for the link for our group, Shabby Soul Sisters. Thanks.